Hello Aries, welcome and welcome back to a Celtic cross tarot reading for the sign of Aries. We're going to do a Celtic cross today, get a general macro style reading going on so we can see what's happening for you. The energy is coming in for about now late September into a week or two of October. If you're looking for a reading that is more geared toward you and another person, there's a spice spread and there's another reading that's kind of more of a deep dive as well. They're on the September playlist, okay? And it is updated frequently. Let's see what's coming in for Aries. I keep wanting to call you Aquarius for some reason. Hmm. Aries, please. I keep hearing Aquarius. All right. What's going on for Aries? Please and thank you. At the end here, I have some charms. I'm completely obsessed with the charms lately. So it's going to spell some letters, words, spell letters, <laughs> letters, words, anything. Uh, let's see. Aries. Currently, you are coming up with this backside of the Knight of Cups here. Uh, the challenge is the backside of the Empress energy from the heavens above. We have the Seven of Wands from the abyss. Okay, the subconscious drives here. We have the Four of Wands. Ooh. In your recent past, could be a... Pisces, doesn't have to be, but you got some hangman energy there. In the near future, the Ten of Swords. Ah, okay. This is you and or your advice as the Fool card. Okay, you got some Fool energy. Uh, your surrounding environment or outside influences. You got the Page of Wands. It could be a younger person, maybe a fire sign here. Hopes and fears, you have the Ace of Cups. Um, and in your outcome, you have the backside of the King of Cups. Wow. Okay. Let me make sure you could see this. I hope. I hope. All right. So bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. I definitely see there is some sort of um, thought process going on about the past here. But the thing about this is it's like, wow, why, why am I, this could be you or someone else. Why am I continuously thinking about the past and the past memories and what's happened here and why I'm not proud of it and all of this. There's a lot of this thinking going on. Some of you, this is relating to an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but there's a king of swords here. Okay. So there's a need to cut off this thinking. And I feel like someone is really, really trying their best to release a lot of energy Energies, a lot of memories. So there could be some frustration about people feeling or thinking about things they don't want to think about anymore. It's like, I'm done thinking about the past. I'm done thinking about that person. Um, I just, how can I make it stop? Okay. I really see that energy right there. Um, let's see what's coming in your current moment with that backside of the Knight of Cups. This looks like there's like a general sense of, oh, I heard uneasiness, but I was going to say romance, okay? Daydreaminess, but it's uneasiness. I don't know why. The Ten of Wands, okay. Sun card and Emperor as well. That's you, by the way, the Emperor energy and the Hangman, of course, appropriate because we do have that here. Okay. There's a past situation here that is trying to reconnect with you. That's for sure. But I feel like there's a general question of wanting to get involved or not. It feels like it's either very combative or you're you're competing with the even the person that you that you care about or that cares about you, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I see you wanting to turn your back on a certain situation here, and it's not because you don't care or you don't love them or any of that sense. I'm not seeing any of that, okay? Because there's still some sort of romantic energy happening here. It's just that the lights have dimmed. It's turning in a different direction because, because this is like, man, this has taken way too long. It's taken a lot of my focus. I'm really burdened by this. I just want to feel free. Like, I just want to be happy again. And I need to take control of myself. I need to take control of all the energies that I allow into my life here. That's what I see your current energies showing up as. It's generally like wanting a more um, 
freedom filled energy or something that you can be elated about like you just want some sort of release or kind of like a release valve here something has been building the pressure has been building and it's like okay i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done i just want to feel free that's what i'm seeing happening here you just want to be happy okay what is this backside <laughs> backside of this empress energy as your challenge why is there a backside of an empress energy challenging hmm well, I see. Devil card. And the Queen of Swords. Okay. Ooh. Um, we have the Star card on the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. Someone wasn't sure where something was headed here. Whether that's you or another person. Um, okay, so your challenge here, it could be a person I'm feeling. Or you're feeling like this, but it feels like some sort of person here. Okay, Aries, you have the backside of this Empress energy. This could be uh, someone who is kind of being, I would say, gnarly for some reason. I feel like you're not wanting to give to a certain situation because there's some sort of issue at hand that has been spoken about. It has been brought to someone's attention, but it's like it's not budging or um, some sort of connection is affecting your relationship with this person. Oh, okay. This could be, uh, we have Libra twice, we have Taurus, we got Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be. It feels like someone was hiding some sort of um, negative feelings and it wasn't being expressed here. And it feels like this is like over boiling now. So it's all coming out. And I feel like this is causing you to want to turn away or someone is. But I feel like this is about someone um, having options. Okay. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on with that heavens. The heavens up there. With the Seven of Wands, definitely a guarded energy happening right here. Uh, this is what could be on your mind at this time with the Seven of Wands energy. There's a major defensiveness happening here. I feel like someone is like getting angry, okay? Or could be getting angry with the Queen of Pentacles coming out. And the Nine of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so there's something that is making you feel like you're not sure if you can feel comfortable moving forward with somebody. They're, they're like giving you some strange signals that you may not be able to trust them and maybe you don't know if they're single even at this point this could be someone who's not single maybe they're attached okay that's kind of what's happening here but i see you with the seven of wands um kind of fending off anybody who's coming in to threaten your peace of mind that's basically what this is because there's a lot of like fears or kind of like if i'm not sure about a situation i'm not moving forward with it so kind of like leave me alone this is the energy that is coming in here okay so this could actually be what you're currently thinking about or the energy that you're being guided to move into here, protecting some amount of um, Nine of Pentacles energy at all costs, okay? I'm hearing at all costs. It's kind of like I didn't know they were they were keeping that to themselves. I didn't know they were doing that. I didn't know they still had that going on. I thought the road was clear, okay? Something like that. What is this Four of Wands? In the subconscious, in the abyss here. I like to call this the abyss. Let's dive into this abyss. Okay, nine of swords. Okay. Mm -hmm. There could be a Leo in your environment. This could be someone who is attached elsewhere. There's something about you guys not being able to, okay, so you're, you're over here with this uh, four of wands. So definitely as a drive, a drive energy for you, it's like you just want unity. 
you want happiness in this sense. You want um, a happy household. This could just be about your household, but there's something about this that is causing you stress, okay? It could be about moving forward with someone and kind of being happy to finally be able to do so. And finally is a key here. I feel like this is kind of being prevented and this is bothering you. So someone is, I heard deliberately, no, they're, are they? Someone is restricting your freedom and your happiness at this point because there's something that you want regarding a relationship that you're not necessarily getting at this time okay that's what i'm seeing here and like i said this could have to do with a leo in the recent past what is this hangman energy Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, ooh. So you're starting to look at this relationship very differently from what I can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Eight of Cups next to that um, Knight of Cups there. It's like you're having a major realization in the recent past. You have had one. You're looking at things in a different way. It's like, oh, I get it. Like, I finally see clearly now. Now I know what I have to do about this relationship, okay? And why it's not moving forward. So I feel like you're realizing why things are at a standstill here, okay? In the recent past. I do feel like in the recent past, there was still some sort of hope that something would be done or be changed about this, okay? But this thought process or this realization that you're seeing here, it's like you were inspired to want to move, but there were breaks involved. Like someone was holding holding back or pushing back or you weren't able to move forward. So this is moving you into some sort of clarity, okay? You have some sort of clarity. You realize something. This is that light bulb going off for you. In the recent past, it could have to do with a Pisces or a Virgo. doesn't have to. In the near future, why is the Ten of Swords here? Empress energy. The Ten of Swords. We got lovers. The Four of Swords. And the Star card. Okay. You're feeling like in the near future more and more independent okay i feel like you're ready to put a stop to this with this ten of swords energy you're saying you know what someone did me wrong and maybe they kept something from you or things just weren't making sense for a while and then you had this realization you're like now i know why we're not moving forward and i don't think we will be moving forward so i'm going to stop this. I'm going to stop putting myself on the line here because ultimately it's making you feel um, stressed or bad. Okay. You're not feeling fulfilled right here in the near future. So with this lovers, the four of swords and the star card, I see you making this decision to choose yourself, especially with the empress on the bottom of the deck here. You're kind of taking this energy that you are putting into the situation or the stress that you are feeling, transmuting it and turning it toward yourself. Okay. And this is where you are possibly thinking about meditating, achieving some sort of peace. Maybe you're tapping into your spirituality so you can understand where you're being guided at this time. There's a lot of spiritual energy coming in here in the near future. And there is some universal guidance, some spiritual guidance here. This is about you um, saying no more for this time period and healing and investing in yourself with the Empress energy. Yeah, healing, peace. It's like you just need some sort of peace, reprieve. Okay, let's see what's going on here with the Fool card as you and your advice. Let's see this Fool card energy. There's definitely a new beginning on the horizon here for you. Fool card for Aries. What's going on? I love the Fool card in the Aries reading. Fool card for Aries. Oh, some of you... Um, You could be dealing with a, an Aquarius or a Gemini. You don't have to be. I forgot to throw that in there. Okay, full card here. With the Four of Swords, again, there's your energy. 
that you showed in the near future. Okay. This is telling me that you are needing to put a stop to something. Uh, okay, see, remember we get this Ten of Swords and this Four of Swords right here? It's right here as well. The Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. It's kind of like taking your power back here from what I can see is happening for you and also in your guidance. You're being guided to stop a certain cycle from happening here with someone of your past or someone who is seen or is a soulmate to you with the Six of Cups. Because it looks like things are kind of cyclical. Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups here. Okay? And you're needing to use that sword with the Queen of Swords to sever this cycle, to stop the cycle from where it is. And this is in your advice and the energy that you can be coming into or guidance for you to come into, especially with this Fool card. It's like, okay, I'm going to stop this cycle from repeating. I'm done kind of being um, sloshed around here. There's some trust situation going on as well from what I can see. So this could be um, you finding that you trust your new choices or your new opportunities coming in more than the situation that you find yourself in now because there's something about that going on as well, okay? Let's see about in your environment with that uh, page of wands. Maybe you're dealing with someone who is younger, um, very attractive, very flirtatious, kind of go, go, go. Someone here is flirting with you. This could also be you wanting to move into some creative endeavor here coming your way. You have an opportunity here. What is this outside influence with the page of wands? Yep, Ace of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, as well as the Justice. Ooh, -wee. someone is coming in with a brand new offer. But it's almost like this is someone who misses you or is experiencing some sort of loss in their current life here. This could be someone who did not offer you some sort of commitment in the past. They're coming back around here. They're saying that they want to keep trying here. I'm seeing a couple people here, guys. There could be a younger person. Those are earth signs and fire signs. But we also have um, a matured Leo and a Scorpio here. Oh, and Libra. Wow. You guys have multiple people coming in here um, in your outside influences. So whoever this is, this is someone who wants to come in even though you kind of moved in a different direction or you're trying to move into a different direction with a brand new passion for you. And they're going to be flirting and they're going to give you some sort of token or offer to connect with them here and to make things right. This is someone who feels bad. There are certain um, energies involving like they miss you or uh, they have regrets and they feel like they need to make that right here. We got this justice card energy coming out. Okay. This is someone because I clarified why the five of cups. This is someone who was not able to offer you some sort of standard commitment or like you guys didn't have one. There was something about it that was restricting your flow, whoever this is, okay? That's who's in your outside influences. I also feel like there is someone coming in your environment and you may not want to um, accept it. Someone, whoever's coming in, it looks as though you may be kind of playing it safe or kind of not giving it too much of your energy from what I can see. In your hopes and fears, you have this Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups for Aries? I see you reaching like emotional fulfillment regardless. Okay. You have the, the you have the tower on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands and a lot of Earth energy. The Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles here.
you guys are definitely looking for something that you are going to feel. There's three things that you're looking for. I mean, kind of makes sense if you think about it. So this Ace of Pentacles is, Ace of Pentacles, oh my gosh. Ace of Cups is definitely some amount of emotional connection with somebody, as well as this Ace of Wands that is um, igniting the passion here. Then you have some really grounded energy come this uh, this earth energy here. This is telling me you're looking to see if you feel like you want to be putting your energy and love and compassion in toward a relationship, some sort of standard type of commitment here. There's something about it that you kind of are analyzing, thinking about, maybe you're assessing here, okay? So I see this on your mind a lot. I see you thinking about what it means to you and um, what you would find fulfilling if you are going to commit to someone. So you could be thinking about actually committing to someone because you do have people coming in. But I feel like for the most part with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a very slow build, okay? If you decide to move forward with it, it's like you're trying to see if this is going to be something stable for long term, okay? All right, in your outcome, we do have this king of cups for aries what's going on backside king of cups please i like the backside of that king of cups <laughs> sounds funny okay yep yeah. mm -hmm. again i'm seeing someone coming in with an offer because they miss you so just keep that in mind for the most part um i see you moving past this five of cups energy the five of cups is regrets about the past i see you moving into forgiveness forgiveness or kind of just moving in a different direction not wanting to be stuck in the five of cups energy which has to do with regrets remorse feeling bad feeling sad you know missing people you're moving out of that in the near future here i see you moving to an energy where you're actually feeling very um emotionally fulfilled okay there's a lot of playfulness coming in for you you also have this three of wands this seven of wands and this three of pentacles this is telling me that you are definitely forward facing here and it's like you you're pushing away certain types of relationships whether they're romantic or work relation whatever this is you're pushing away certain types of relationships in favor for other types of relationships here so i feel like you're definitely finding something to believe in or put your efforts into okay and this is you definitely being very optimistic so there's a lot of optimism coming in in your most likely outcome which is nice so you're definitely getting out of this um this funk here okay and i feel like whoever it is that's coming in it looks like to me especially if you're cross watching aries doesn't really have energy going that way from what i can see okay that's what i see let's go ahead and pull your charms here so go ahead and use your intuition look at the letters or listen to the letters i call out see if they make any significant letters words initials any meanings for you okay we have an r we have a v someone else had rv i don't know who it was rvr T. I'm hearing revert. P E. Okay, some of you guys need to do some sort of physical activity here. P E O U. <laughs> Maybe somebody has like a smell, guys. Somebody has a weird smell that you're getting upset about. <laughs> Maybe something smells in your environment. This could be in your car. Some of you guys, your car stinks and you can't get the smell out. You need a ticket to get a detail. S, hopefully they could help or you're gonna have to redo the, the uh, 
interior. S O A D. I U N. I'm hearing soul. Um, also Korea? What? So we have Roan. Mm, let me know if you guys see anything, if, uh, if the comments are open. They probably are. You guys have been pretty okay lately. Rest. I see rest. Peter. Terry. S O N Sun Sunny Nate Natalie I'm Sure you guys get what you need there, right? Okay, let's see. Let's get you an affirmation, please, Aries. We actually have Aries here. A R I E S. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, warrior saint on the bottom of the deck, but we're doing one today. Ooh, I love this. Yes, yes, yes. This makes so much sense for you. You got Freya. Okay, you know who this is? This is the goddess of discernment, guys. It says, I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Holy hell yes, okay? So don't say yes if it's kind of like, mm, I don't know, maybe, okay, I, I guess I could do that or somebody convinces you to do it. No, 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 no. Because you're needing to actually keep your energy here. We've been seeing it in this reading. There's something about you focusing on yourself here, okay? Pay attention to that. Only say yes when you're 100% sure. And I feel like this has to do with giving your energy to this situation that's not fulfilling you. I also feel like this has to do with certain offers coming your way. And I do see you kind of being a little standoffish or a bit um, not too involved with certain things during this time period, which is fine because there's something that you need yourself. Okay, just remember that for this time period. There's something that you need to give yourself here. And maybe this is some sort of self-improvement that you're working on so that you can actually invite in something healthy for you because i see you analyzing what is commitment what does commitment mean to me what am i actually looking for that is worthwhile that i want to be a part of that i would be proud to be a part of where we can respect one another that's a big word there too okay all right guys i love you so very much feel free to check your other placements i told you they're on the playlist september playlist the october playlist will be out very shortly thank you guys for all your support i love you so very much check your neighbors your friends your family members your co-workers peep and tom peep and tanya down the street check their placements so we know what everybody's up to all right we don't want to be blindsided here i'm kidding <laughs> I love you guys. See you next time. Kisses. Bye.